My name is Eric Calhoun, and I'm the lead horticulturalist uh, for the National Museum of African American History and Culture. My name is Sarah Tewell. I'm a horticulturist at the African American History and Culture Museum. Sheltering branches is about the idea of habitat as a source of and a space for safety, uh, protection, and strength. So we look at the idea of habitat as a space where organisms, where people, plants, animals, insects can find refuge and find safety. This habitat exhibit, we had a specific focus on not just taking the idea of habitat on its own as standalone, but also looking at it in the context of what our museum was all about. We had one focus that was specifically on uh, the environment. And so we had this idea that with our Tillandsias and our epiphytes, that the live oak is a host and a protector for a large variety and very unique species of plants. A Tillandsia is an epiphytic plant, and epiphytic plants are plants that attach themselves as a host to an organism such as live oak. They get the nutrients from the air, the rain, and that, so it doesn't take anything from the tree, doesn't harm it, it just uses it as a place to live. Without the live oak, Spanish moss and Tillandsia and ferns would not exist. We're also looking at it through the lens of culture, and so we wanted to see how does this live oak tree um, interact with American history, with American culture, and specifically with African American history and culture through the lens of the African American experience. And the, what we saw was that it was a very easy connection to make. The live oak is iconic to the South. These trees were important parts of our history. They saw these important elements of our history, and then they also provided a space for these events to be created. One element that we look at in some of our interpretive panels is the idea of hush harbors and these are spaces that were a source of safety for uh, enslaved African Americans who were looking to practice their religion. These were spaces where African Americans would go into the woods under the protection of trees, uh, live oak being one of those, to find a refuge, find a safe space where they wouldn't be heard, where um, others wouldn't be able to sort of hone in on them. Uh, another thing would be to practice reading and writing. Uh, in a lot of states, uh, African Americans were not allowed to, to learn how to read and write. So these would be uh, safe spaces where African Americans could go, um, teach themselves to read, practice reading and writing. It opens up a window to have a conversation to visitors about what habitat really is and you know what the tree represents in not only a host and a habitat for plants, but also enslaved Africans used it as a place to have classes and hide under and found shelter. It's a really special place to be, especially in its infancy as the museum and the gardens are brand new. I hope that people get people thinking about our history and what it represents.